Right, let's go. It is 8.30 a.m. That's one of the earliest times I've left on this hike. <clears throat> the reason is our weather forecast predicts rain starting around lunchtime, so it seems everyone starts a little bit earlier to yeah, catch as much good weather as possible. I had a very good night. Very comfortable campsite, soft grass, weather was good, slept very well. However, I'm, I'm a bit sad because I came here, I wanted to say goodbye to some people I met on the trail and I hope to see them here because I will not finish in Fort William today, I will finish a bit earlier at the campsite. So uh, I hope maybe I see them on the trail today. But yesterday, yeah, the, they were not at that campsite. There's the second one here, maybe they stayed there. However, I, meet, uh, I met other people at that campsite. You always meet people. And of course, you have to be a bit more outgoing, uh, especially if you are hike alone, yeah. Sometimes people approach you, but it's also the easiest is if you just talk with people. You just say, you just some, I don't know. You become better, you become better in it. Yeah? Normally I'm an introvert person. I don't talk that much. But here, after all these days now, it became very easy. Because you always have a topic to talk about. It's just, you have the same you do the same thing, you do this hike, so you talk about eh, how are the feet, how is, oh, your backpack is too big, or your backpack is so small, or where are you going, blah, where are you from, all these things. <laughs> so it's easy to have a... People might say it's a small talk. I don't think so. It's, it's a bit more than small talk, because it's not just weather talk, you really, I mean, it's you really exchange information yeah, to to for example if I tell people about my big backpack what's in there the reason why it's so big and so on it teaches other people or it explains it to them also I learn from other people when they tell me their story why they picked some sort of shoes or what campsite they stayed in. Yeah, so it's definitely more than small talk. Cool. <laughs> it's funny, <clears throat> seems like everyone is still sleeping here, or the locals, it's Sunday morning. Only the crazy hikers are active. <laughs> Being honest, uh, if I had known that I can't see the people that I uh, wanted to see at the campsite, I would have chosen a wild camping site because it was really my my thinking was yeah last night let's have a last camping evening together. Ah, did not work. Uh, I will show you the wild camping spot that I had in mind. It's a little bit after Kinderlewin, like around five kilometers. Right, found the path, leaving the road now. It's quite busy this morning. Of course, now it mixes again with all the not campers. All the people who stay in their lodges and so on with light luggage. They always start a bit early, I would say, campers. Or, well, let's say I usually start later. So now that I start early, I see that it's very busy that early morning. So interestingly, right after leaving the main road, you see this area here. And on my map, this is marked as a wild camping place. It really looks like it, yeah? but you know, there are houses right there and 
street right there. So it's just in the middle of the village. Uh, I don't know if that's really allowed, but someone had fire here. So immediately after leaving Kinloch Leven, it goes uphill. Not that bad. It's not a devil's staircase here. It's also not a devil's gravel road. Yeah, but good to start in a t-shirt. Because everyone walks up here and then they stop and have to repack. Get take off their jacket. Because they get too warm in the jackets. So always take off jacket before you go uphill. Because you will get warm. Pass a nice wild camping spot. Didn't want to film directly there because the couple there was still eating breakfast and so on. Quite nice, it's right at the end of that well, first climb out of Kinoch Leven when you leave the forest and come to a little opening the first time. I see another red tent there in the bushes. Oh, actually, it's a little seating area even. Nice. That was two minutes after the first spot. You know what? It is quite a climb. Thing it's yeah, 45 minutes since I left campsite, so maybe I'm half an hour into this climb. What is that? Sorry? What did you say? Ah, okay, yeah, my knee is fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> no, it's just a downhill problem, and it's not an injury, I just know. After a longer stretch of downhill gravel, my right knee starts to hurt, but if I stop, or basically just one minute later, if I stop, or the next day, oh, oh, take care. there's nothing, so feeling strong. I'm sorry, I'm such a bad video host. I haven't told you yet today's destination. So it's going to be Fort William, but two kilometers before Fort William, there's a campsite uh, in a valley called Glen Nevis, right under the mountain Ben Nevis. So it's 26 kilometers, I believe, from Kinloch Loch Leven to Fort William, and for me it will be around 24 kilometers. And yeah, we'll camp there one night tomorrow. Climb uh, the idea is to climb or hike up to Ben Nevis and then tomorrow evening finish in Fort William. Yeah, that's the plan. Funny, I just met a French couple who I have last seen on day one. <laughs> so they kind of had similar itinerary than me, but we just 
didn't see each other again yeah, it can happen people have different speeds different starting times stay at different accommodations so cool you can see the path all the way to the horizon there <laughs> I can see my future here we are born to be kings we're the princes of the universe <laughs> oops I did it again I sang for you, although I promised to never sing again. I'm sorry. Yeah, but this song from Queen, from the movie Highlander is stuck in my head this morning. That's why I had to share it with the world. <laughs> and for copyright reasons, I can ob obviously not play that song for you, so I had to sing it. I think it was pretty close to the original, wasn't it? Yeah. Please, some applause in the comments below. Thank you. Highlander. Yeah, I love that movie. I watched it so many times. Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery, and the Highlander. His deep blue eyes staring at you, staring at your soul. <laughs> Great movie. I will definitely watch it again back home. First thing, Highlander. So this is the place I originally thought about camping at. But that's yeah, it's two and a half hours, six kilometers away from Kinloch Leven would have been too far. And this those ruins over there, they're called show you Tignas Leupeich. Very interesting. There's an interesting uh, story about it. I found in a Facebook group. I don't have internet here, but I took a screenshot here in order to share the comment with you. Uh, it's about that ruin there, about the building. So it's from Jeanette. I hiked the West Highland Way in 2018. Here are my notes to go along with this photo. I cannot show you the photo, I'm sorry. At one point we came across some ruins and a guy was walking out of the ruins at the same time. He asked me if I wanted to know about the house. Well, yes I do. He told me he lived there in the 70s and kept watch over the sheep for the landowner. He described what the layout of the interior of the house was like. He said the government eventually took ownership of the land but told him he could stay there for five pounds a year, equivalent to about $7.50. He said he never paid it and they never asked him to leave. He was gonna live wild and free. Basically, I met my first Scottish hippie. <laughs> I like that story. The last break my backpack started making very annoying squeaking sound. <laughs> oh boy, maybe it's time for that backpack to retire, I don't know. 
there's only one thing we can do against squeaking sounds. Here we are, born to be kings, we are the princes of the universe. Yeah, I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> it's lunchtime, 12. No rain so far, very pleasant. Bit of a cold wind, so if you stop for longer, you have to put on a jacket. Other than that, very good hiking weather. Of course, yesterday was nice with the blue sky and the sunshine, but it was also much harder. More sweating, and yeah, the sun was just burning from the skin. Got a change of landscape here. Coming <clears throat> down into a forest. Oh, I got the first raindrop. Looks like it starts to drizzle now. But that was expected. Yeah, 1 pm. little break there under the trees after four hours it is 20 past one now I think for me this was the halfway point 12 kilometers yeah I put on the rain cover I hardly feel the drops but for sure it will start somewhere this afternoon. I checked the weather forecast again, so it's quite sure. So better have the rain cover on and then I don't have to stop when it really starts drizzling. I will not put on rain jacket unless it really rains. Yeah. Drizzling, I don't mind. Okay, a little bit uphill again here. I can tell I get closer to civilization because I met a couple of uh, local Scottish day hikers so it's Sunday they go out for a hike enjoying the outdoors So I think the big thing there on the right hand side is, is Ben Nevis because it's clearly bigger than everything else but we will conquer that tomorrow today I think from now on it's just down, down and down and I'm speed <laughs> Okay, I wanted it, I got it. Rain on the last couple of kilometers. 
Uh, it's not very strong rain, but put the rain jacket on. First time on this trip. That was a classic five minutes rain. <laughs> the moment I leave the rain jacket on, there's ventilation, so it's not that bad. But yeah, the other solutions, can, like a poncho, it's easier to put on and off for these little showers. Rain jacket, yeah, I have to stop now. Put down the backpack, jacket off, put into the backpack, backpack on again and continue. Showers coming and going at the moment. I think that was the last climb of the day. The last climb of the West Highland Way. Wow, okay. I will climb that thing tomorrow, so... <laughs> now I can see the dimensions and size of Ben Nevis. Wow, there's literally another small mountain in front of it. Okay, you can see a tiny little bit of snow at the top, but I'm sure there's snow on the other side. I think this is... Should be the southern side. So northern side usually has snow and ice a bit longer in summer. You can already see my destination today. That's the Glen Nevis campsite. And I assume over there in the distance is Fort William. So after an endless gravel road, oh I love gravel road, I finally have reached the first houses, walking on asphalt now, it's very painful for the feet, the campsites over there, yeah almost there. Alright, tent is set up, in the dry, no rain, the hiking shirt is already getting some air. Uh, I haven't, have to prepare for tomorrow's hike because I will not take all my things, everything will stay in the tent and I talk with the reception of the campsite that I'm allowed to leave the tent here until tomorrow evening, then I, when I come back from Ben Nevis, I will pack everything and then walk to Fort William. That's the plan. And now I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I will go. And I'm not cooking today. I'm <laughs> I will go and find a restaurant and then yeah, have a nice evening and relax and get some energy for tomorrow. See ya. Foo, raining cats and dogs outside. It's raining the whole evening. I had a good dinner and pre-packed my backpack. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to rest and tomorrow 
I hope for good weather for the climb. See you tomorrow. Dead mountain there. <laughs> A shop in Fort William this morning uh, to get an SD card. Hooray! I start this hike so late, 10 a.m., 500 meters elevation. So basically another 900. Elevation 635 meters. Can I call this halfway, <laughs> please? Oh, actually, we just crossed 1000 meters. So above 1000, that's already achievement for today.